Hi, uh, in this Houdini snippet tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can visualize the, the global relief uh, using the data called uh, GeoTIF, GeoTIF or GeoTIFF um, using the height field node in Houdini. So first you gotta get the uh, height field map. So let's go to the uh, for example you can go to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration website uh, which stands for uh, which uh, the short terms is NOAA and if you go to this website you can search for global relief and the first thing you got global relief and CEI click that and you will see a, a version several version of the GeoTIFF files so I'm just gonna get this one and the image looks like this and this is really like big image and it's too big in order to import it into Houdini as a full size I think so I'm gonna just crop some of the part to use it in this uh, snippet tutorial <coughs> so in this tutorial I'm gonna just use this part Japan uh, and see how I can visualize this okay now let's go to the Houdini and first of all let's have a geometry and delete the file and first you need the height field node and as a default the size is thousand and thousand and I guess it's fine and initial height zero, initial mask zero, that's fine and next you want to import the image that you have just cropped so make a height field file here <coughs> and connect these together and uh, I don't need the butterfly let's choose the one I have just cropped Cropped. <coughs> so this is the a GeoTIFF uh, GeoTIFF for Japan, and um, right now it looks red since it's in the uh, mask layer. But what I want to do is to use it as a height map. So I'll type here height, and you can see there's a small changes on the surface but it's going down I think so you wanna make it make sure that it the the terrain part goes up upward and the ocean part goes downward so I think it's the other way around so I think you can change that here if you make it minus one nope Um, okay, um, I'm just gonna set to like 10. Now the terrain is going down, so I would wanna make the layer mode to be sub subtracted. Okay, it's good. Let's hide the grid. And I can barely see the oceanic, uh, surface so let's set the height scale a little bit more higher now it I can see some differences but the edge of the Japan's surface terrain is a bit too jaggy so I would like to make the resolution a bit more high so 
what I can do is to go to the height field and set the grid spacing less than 2, like 1, maybe like 0.5. Mm, still pretty jaggy. 0.1. E, mm, I guess it's fine for now. Mm, but still a bit jaggy, I guess. So let's scale down the height. Something like 50. Okay. Or more like 20. Okay, should be good. And let's visualize this. Visualize the height field using the height field visualize. And you can set the color of the ocean to be blue. Oh, and I have to set the max elevation the same as this one, height scale. So I'm going to copy this parameter and paste it here. Okay. Now this should go, this should be white and this should be something bluish, light bluish, I don't need green. Yeah, something like this. So this is pretty much it in order to visualize the map. Uh, in the GeoTIFF but right now it's uh, visualized with the volume um, since the height field itself is a volume so if you want to use it as a geometry I mean like a polygon that you can maybe 3D print or something then you want to convert it into polygon somehow now the easiest way you can do is to um, use the volume extrude, extrude volume and connect that and it takes a bit of time to calculate Okay, sorry, it was taking too much time, so I'm gonna reduce the quality, the grid spacing. I'll change it to 1. And let's redo the extrude volume. And right now the depth is 1, but the, the length of this space... Uh, the surface is 1000, so let's give it like 200, maybe a bit smaller, 100, yeah, maybe 50. Okay, now let's, let me also color this. Now I cannot use height field visualize anymore, so I can just... Um, use the point wrangle first in order to uh, remap the y uh, coordinate I can get the get box bb box max and just get the y <coughs> and minus get bb box uh, min and get the y or I can just say f 
and I can just say for the detail I think and if uh, min equals get well I mean max equal get bb box max dot y if min equals get bb box min dot y and if I look at the detail attribute um, yeah if I have max and minimum which is the maximum height and the minimum height so let me use that in order to color this or I can set another attribute with the another point wrangle and uh, if call equals to um, <coughs> fit p dot y from detail uh, min zero min and to detail zero max two zero two one okay let me check now the color seems to be applied here let's now give a color component a node and make it ramp attribute and use call and set the left side color to be blue and around here to be light blue and visualize it and move the slider somewhere around here and there you see there you have a uh, polygonal mesh colored which you can also 3d print uh, as an output okay looks good that's it thank you